Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you the last video of my Showcase Showdown series. Um, I'm hoping to get all of these out and up and ready for you guys so we can wrap this series up and move on to bigger and better things. So the last video is going to be my randoms video. These are products that didn't fit in other categories, but I love too much not to tell you about. So let's get started. First thing is, this looks really ratchet. I know it's in a plastic bag. This is Zothe Soap. Um, I got mine at Walmart for 97 cents and I use this to clean my brushes and my beauty blenders. Absolutely love this. I have been using it for so long and you can see there is a dip in it, but I have been using this for like three or four months to clean my brushes and my beauty blenders and I have a lot of brushes to wash. Um, but like I said, 97 cents, it is a laundry bar, laundry detergent bar, and it smells really good. It can be a little bit strong and it smells like straight up laundry detergent, but I like that. Um, I like my brushes smelling fresh and clean. It cleans very well, doesn't leave any residue behind. Quick, fast, and effective, and I love it, 97 cents. I used to use the Beauty Blender Solid, and I love that, but it's $20, $16, $20 for the little disc of it, and you can go through that so quickly. So, I'm just like, $20, $20, 97 cents, I mean, come on. So go to Walmart, you can find this anywhere, Walmart, Target, places like that. Go get you one, try it. I promise you won't be disappointed. Next thing is these Salon Perfect Brow Trim and Shape. You can find these anywhere. It doesn't have to be the Salon Perfect brand. I've used all kinds of brands. Um, these are the little brow razors that you use to like just trim and shape your eyebrows. I use these to shave my face. Melissa Autry got me turned on to this. Carly Bible got me turned on to this. Um, and one thing to remember, you are not going to grow like a man's goatee beard from this. Your hairs are not going to grow back black and wiry and all that. I just use this to get rid of my peach fuzz so my makeup goes on smoother, lasts longer, looks better. And I do use it to, you know, trim these little things here in the middle and so on and so forth. But I use, I do this about once every two to three weeks and a pack like this runs me about three, four dollars. You can find them cheaper, you can find them more expensive. Um, but a three pack of these will last me a month, two months, three months, something like about a month per razor is what I use. So about three months for like three, four dollars. Yes, please. And trust me, look up videos. Everybody and their mama has videos about shaving your face. If you're a little bit worried about it, look look up videos, watch videos on it. I promise it's not as scary as you think it is. You might want to try it. Because like I said, I think my makeup looks better and applies better with a smooth face. Next thing I want to talk about is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This is the waterproof kind. This is for all skin types, even sensitive. Um, cleans and refreshes, no rinse, no harsh rubbing for face, lips, eyes. Let's get rid of uh, Armageddon proof. Armageddon proof eyeliner gets rid of it. L liquid lipstick gets rid of it. And all your other makeup gets rid of it. Absolutely love this stuff. I keep it here on my vanity. I just give it a quick shake. I've got my Q-tips and my little cotton rounds. If I need to clean up eyeliner, clean up mascara spots or anything like that, I just love it. What I do is I'll use it to remove my eyeliner, my makeup, my lipstick, and then I'll go cleanse my face. And I think this is like, it's 13 and a half ounces for like $8. There's also a pink kind that is not waterproof. I haven't tried yet. I just, I like waterproof because it's really going to do the job. So I use that, remove all of my makeup, then I go and I wash my face with the Biore Baking Soda Cleansing Scrub. Emily Noel talked about this and she raved about it so much I had to try it. Um, it is activates with water for a deep and gentle clean and exfoliate your skin with naturally dissolves. Gently exfoliate your skin then naturally dissolves so you never over scrub. Uh, this innovative powder activates with water to deep clean pores and leaves your skin visibly smoother in just one week. Absolutely love this stuff. I think it was like $8 at Walmart. 
got the little pop tab and it's a powder it's like baking soda I'm gonna pour a little bit in my hand here to where you can see it you just put a little bit you put more than this in your hand get you some water in your fingertips massage it together and clean your skin and it's such a gentle exfoliation I love it and it f smells like lime oh it's such a clean refreshing scent I just absolutely love this stuff I don't know if you'll be able to tell but I have used this much and I use this every single night sometimes twice a day once a day for sure once a day but sometimes twice maybe even three times and I love it and I've only used that much and I've been using this for like a month and the more water you add the less exfoliating it is it just it feels fresh and clean it doesn't burn my eyes or anything like that um, it's just I love this stuff and I'll be honest I have hormonal breakouts and hormonal breakouts sometimes will bring on cystic acne knock on wood when I say this hopefully it doesn't make a liar out of me but I should have had some hormonal breakouts here in the last week okay and ever since I've used this I haven't broke out and I haven't got a cystic pimple I have I've got like a, a couple like small ones that last like a day or two and then they're gone I and I I credit all that to this because ever since I use this I haven't got any breakouts knock on wood God somebody knock on wood say a prayer for me that that doesn't make a liar out of me anyway then the next thing I want to talk about is coconut oil you have heard people talk about this stuff and rave about this stuff for the longest time now and I am here to tell you this stuff is amazing if you do not want to go out and buy the micellar water this stuff right here will remove makeup like nobody's business eyeliner mascara liquid lipstick you name it I use it before I got the micellar water I used it on my eyes let it sit there for a minute rubbed it in on the liquid lipsticks all of that and then washed my face with this and it is so nice I have now actually because my my around my eyes are just drier than the Sahara Desert here lately so I've been putting an eye cream on but before I put that eye cream on I put a little bit of this on and it's been helping tremendously there is really there's no smell I have been using this for so long I don't know if you can see how much I've used I have been using this for six months probably if not longer and I've only used that much and it wasn't full when I bought it like it would like it did not come up here to this line it was like to the top of the sticker and I've only used to like that for six months I mean this stuff lasts you forever you can use this on your face your body your hair your nails cooking that's what this is I found this in the grocery section it was like six dollars it's a hundred percent pure coconut oil not the additive style stuff but I mean you can use this for so many things look up YouTube videos search it on Google and you will see thousands and thousands of things you can use this for and I love it I love it next thing I want to talk about is the Batiste dry shampoo I absolutely by far my favorite dry shampoo I have tried several different flavors or scents of this and I love them all this is the cool and crisp fresh yes I love it love it love it by mine Ulta I have seen it at TJ Maxx between seven eight dollars either place lasts me forever does the job and I just haven't found another dry shampoo I like as well as this one I just don't I've tried the dark version I've tried the cherry the cool crisp the this the that the coconut I've tried it all I haven't been disappointed by any of them go get you some Batiste it's fabulous and the last thing I want to talk about is um this stuff it's called manic panic um it's the dream tone foundation um 
I'll be quite honest, long, long, long time ago, I was looking up on YouTube and Google and all of that how to lighten foundation. I had bought the wrong color. This is way before I started YouTube, but I had bought the wrong color of foundation. It was too dark, and I was like, "There's." I love the foundation, and I was like, there's got to be a way to lighten it. And I saw several YouTube, I mean, Google articles and a couple YouTube videos on this stuff. You have to buy it. I got mine off Amazon, and I think it was like $13. And I'm talking, this has been at least three or four years ago that I bought this. Um, I know recently Kathleen Lights has talked about this, and she's raved about it and how she loves it to lighten foundation. What it is... It is a simple, pure, 100% stark white foundation. That's what it is. Um, you could use this for Halloween tutorials, or Halloween tutorials, Halloween tutorials, or Halloween looks, you know, to get the zombie face, or the witch face, or whatever you need white paint for, um, or white cream paint. Um, it's really thin, though, um, and you can see it blends out and still remains white. The reason why I like this is because it is thin and I can mix it with my foundations, you know, like one little squirt to lighten it one shade, a little bit bigger of a squirt to lighten it two shades. It's just like, it's good to have if, you know, like when you're going from self tanning to winter months and you don't self tan anymore, those favorite foundations that you find that may be too dark, you can add a little bit of this, lighten it up to match your skin tone. And I mean, I've had this for years and I mean, it's like I barely even used it, literally. It looks like I barely even used it. Um, I absolutely love this stuff. It's thin enough to where it'll mix well without messing with the formula of the foundation that you like, um, but yet lightening it so it can work for you. Like I said, I found mine on Amazon for like $13, $14. You know, it might have changed since I bought it. Should still be around that price range somehow. Um, and it says Flawless Foundation and Color Corrector. So... Yes, go get you some of this. Absolutely love it. It's just, it's a different kind of product that has so many uses. So, yeah, that is it. That is 100% it for this series and for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this series. I hope you learned something. I hope you gained some knowledge about some things. I hope you saw some products you might want to try that you already have that you didn't know could do that or whatever. Um, I hope you liked this series. I hope I did well in conveying information and let's move on to the next series and video ideas. Like I've said in so many of my videos, if you have any ideas for some new series or videos that you would like to see, please leave them down below. I am so welcome to suggestions and your ideas and I want to film videos that you want to watch and yeah I think that's it um, like this video if you liked it subscribe if you're not subscribed spread the word about my channel I would greatly appreciate it and I until I see you guys next time have a great day Bye. hey guys welcome to my channel I'm Binky Beauty and if you like makeup, you like drugstore, with a little bit of high-end thrown in here or there, um, then you've come to the right place.